and Spa on Burrard Street. Have you ever been in a foul mood and then you go to the gym and you maybe hit the treadmill for a bit and you go, wow, I feel better. Does it actually impact your mental health long term, short term? We're going to talk about it this morning with our guests. Uh, we'll start off with you, Michael, because you're from the Canadian Mental Health Association and you might have a, a, a better idea for, for, for what kind of impacts it makes in our minds. Yeah, so uh, exercise definitely helps our mental health. Um, I think, you know, in the 90s, people went back and forth and said they weren't sure it had a huge impact. Really? But some uh, meta studies that were done, which is looking at tons of studies that have been done trying to statistically put them together have shown really clearly that for anxiety and depression especially it really helps um, but also for uh, less clinical like just bad mood maybe increased stress but not anxiety in a clinical sense it also helps with that um, and and it helps ongoing well, I mean, for me, from a personal point of view, a few years ago, I suffered from some depression, and the first thing I was told to do is get some exercise. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to you, Chris, and talk about uh, Steve Nash and a great event that you guys have going on next month. Sure. Yeah, so on May 9th, we're doing, you know, partnering with the Canadian Mental Health Association for the, you know, Ride Don't Hide event. And so really just encouraging people because obviously mental health is something that impacts everyone. And there's all the different you know, avenues of health, whether you're talking physical, mental, and so on and so forth. But really, we just want to partner with this group, great organization, just an opportunity to really help people kind of, you know, maybe make a difference. And, you know, you know, there's so many things that I think we can impact in terms of, you know, making a difference for folks. And we just want to be part of that on, on May 9th and really get as many people as possible to come out and get on the bikes and get excited and, and really kind of make a difference. So why is it important for Steve Nash to have events like this? I mean, it, it's, is it just about starting a conversation? Well, I don't know that we're starting the conversation. I think we want to be part of the conversation. We want to make it a, a louder part of the conversation. I mean, I think that, you know, again, you mentioned your own experience, and then Michael and I, as we've been talking this morning, you know, I, I think it's something that impacts everyone in, in some form or another, whether it's a, a friend or a family member or even directly. And so I just think it's one of those things that really impacts all of, you know, British Columbians, and we really want to get behind that and support that. And just the intersection of mental and physical health is so strong. It's just it's a great place for us to be involved. So on May 9th, how specifically can people take take part in the event. Whether you're a member of our clubs or simply, uh, you know, someone in the community, just stop by our club and we'll have tents and bikes and you get on a bike. And if you ride, um, for every kilometer that's ridden, we're going to donate money to the association. So $10 for every kilometer ridden. And so we kind of expect these bikes to be turning and burning all day long. Uh, it'll be really exciting, really fun. And then as well, there's a, an opportunity for people that maybe don't have the opportunity to come ride. They can simply donate uh, via, you know, a hashtag use and, and kind of sharing and tweeting and that whole social media game. I love that, that Steve Nash has kind of an open door policy on that day doesn't matter if you have a membership come in ride some bikes yep. uh, let's crack this conversation open a bit and I know there's some BT viewers watching right now that might be thinking okay I'm in a bad mood maybe every day coming in after a long winter and it's been really cloudy how big of an effort do you have to make exercise wise in order to have an impact well, not very much. I mean, I think that, you know, sometimes people think, well, if I'm going to really make a difference, I have to go and I have to really start this big program or maybe I need to hire a personal trainer. And well, yeah, certainly all of that might help. That's not necessarily what you need to do. It's simply just taking a walk or being active or getting up out of your desk at work or just even in your neighborhood at home and just walking around and doing some simple things can, can be a good starting place for a lot of people just to get your mind turning on something other than whatever it's turning on and kind of whatever's, you know, burning up inside you, if you will, and just, just being active. And then certainly there's tons of health and fitness centers certainly uh, unfavorable to us but there's lots of places for people to go uh, to be active and make a difference for themselves and sometimes it is really just that opening your front door and going for a walk in your neighborhood yep. Uh, yep. Michael really quick just from a mental health point of view any <laughs> inspirational words for people who might be struggling with their mood right now yeah. I, I think one of the biggest things is to set some small really achievable goals uh, we know that setting goals and working towards them does uh, incredible things for our mental health and if that's related to fitness, great. Get out, even if it's a walk around the block, that can be the start, and then you can set your next goal. Thank you so much, Michael and Chris. Uh, Steve you, Nash, May 9th, that's the day to get her, get her done. Just have that walk, hit a bike. I think it's really uh, an important time of the year to talk about our mental health. Breakfast Television continuing after this.